you guys are probably gonna cut this. This sucks. <laughs> that is as um, authentic as it gets. Delicious. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. We travel around to different food festivals where we eat all the eats, we drink all the drinks, and we get all types of crazy while giving you guys the most raw and realest food reviews in the game. This, this is Send Foods. What's up, you sexy bitches? Welcome back to another episode of Send Foods on Thrillist. I'm Timothy De La Ghetto. And I'm David So. And guess what? We in your hometown. We in my hometown where I grew up in, where I went to high school, Paramount, California. My family had a Thai food restaurant lost out here. Lost his virginity here. I lost my virginity in a bedroom five minutes away. It was really fast. <laughs> Paramount, California, we had the Friday night market. They do it once a month. You got a homie out here. Yeah. I got a horchateria place you out here, homie. Horchateria, dog. For all you people out there, the H is silent. Horchata. Yeah, for all you little horchatas out there. Horchateria! <laughs> Alright, so we had the shrimp and taco stop. What the f is this? <laughs> These are Baja style fish tacos. We use mahi mahi. Okay. And uh, these are the shrimp tacos. Oh. Tacos. Oh, that shrimp is fish. First of all, yes. when you're in California, you better make sure you get some fish tacos. So fire. Ooh, and that diarrhea after cuz. Oh. Woo. Dog, I always tell people, look, I don't get diarrhea. I got a really strong stomach. And I know this is a food show, but I could literally, I could eat diarrhea and poop out uh, solid poo. That's how good my stomach is. All right. I could eat Cheerios and then <laughs> liquid tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't got the Pepper though, like this, mm -hmm. it ain't that real Ensenada style f Baja taco. Mm. I got that shrimp taco. Oh my you god. I got that fish taco. Oh, the mahi mahi. Mahi. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Mmm. That's fresh. Mm. You got that delicious crema, the sharp red onions, mm -hmm. the acidic salsa, and that delicious deep fried shrimp goodness, homie. Mm mm. 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 This is good too. Wow, put you the first two. You stupid son of a bitch. Oh, oh that's hot. Really? Mine's great. Try mine. Maybe I oh, didn't. Yours is hotter than mine. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Yours is way hotter than ah. mine. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Here, take this back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my parents. Oh my god, my parents are here. Oh, they're in trouble with the law. Hi, hey, hey, look at that guy. Hey, get the hell out of here, man. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> See that? Tim's famous, but I got new parents. <laughs> They always wanted a taller yeah. son. My yeah. fan, a fan. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at LA Street Chefs. All right, all right, so what's going on here, dog? We have our fusion rolls over here. The top one is a chicken dinga, and then on the bottom, it's the vieja steak. You all over the place. You got Cuban flavors. You got Filipino stuff. You got everything here. This guy. All right, well, we're going to eat this now. All right, man. Thanks, dog. Thank you so much. And we got one more item coming up. Oh, my God. You wild. You crazy. Oh, you crazy. He's trying to make me throw up. We said a couple of dishes. This will brought out his whole menu. I'm going to try these yuca fries. Not like a typical potato at all. Hmm. A lot more dense. Hmm. Chicken tinga. It's tingling. The chicken yeah. tinga is tingling. The sauce is a little spicy, but very good. Sure. Hmm. Everything's a hmm here because the guy's like mixing a lot of flavors together. I'm trying to figure out, my tongue is trying to figure out what to do right now. Like definitely. I, I, kind of like the first time I, uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, it's hmm. Huh. You can't really put your finger on it. Like we're trying to put an ethnicity to these foods. You can't really put your finger on it. Kind of like the first time I, uh, hmm. <laughs> and I'm not, I can always appreciate some, um, lads, uh, uh, I can always appreciate some Latin and Asian flavor. I can always appreciate some Latin and Asian fusion coming together because that's how I felt going to Paramount. You know what I'm saying? I was like one of the only Asian kids in a, like a 75% Mexican school. So this is this is representative of my experience yeah, in this Paramount. Is very, this is a Tim concoction. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're over here at Sausage Master. David's a master of the sausage. <laughs> All I do is eat sausage every night. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse 
Alright, they're ready. Oh, we're ready? Cool. Ooh. Thank you. Which one is this? That's the uh, calabasa. Woo! These motherfuckers are huge. Let me tell you what I already appreciate about these people. Number one, what you mean these people? What I mean by these people, I'm talking about these, these people behind me. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mexicans. Number one, they steam the buns ahead of time so it's nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Then they finish it off on the grill. Number two, they got the charcoals. All right. Yes, gonna... Serrano chili. You got, we got to do it. Well, I got to do it. I'll do hey, it. You I'll do it. Way, I'll do it. You. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Boom. Hot link, kielbasa. Uh-huh. Oh my god, it's so hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right off the bat, mmm. The heat from that hot mm. link. And when you grill it, it gets nice and crusty and snappy. That skin, skin is nice and snappy. That casing, a good, good, yes. good snap to it. <laughs> you crazy son of a bitch. Spicy, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, not for me. My asshole immediately said, ah, Why are you doing that to me? <laughs> no! <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're here at the Orchateria booth. So my homegirl Ashley founded the Orchateria. I went to high school with this chick, and she was always like, yo, I need to start a spot in this area. And then she did, and this happened. I'm going to try this iced chata mica, which is okay. orchata and jamaica. Oh, what's up, bro? Who are you? I'm Raul. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'll get the regular. All right, so a regular chata and a chata mica? Chata mica, yeah. yeah. It'll be right up. I'm going to try this. Uh, Horchata mica, which sounds crazy. Horchata and jamaica at the same damn time. Try that classic horchata though. Oh, okay, okay. David So trying to seduce the ladies. Delicious, man. What can I say? We're talking about rice, cinnamon, milk. I'm not mad at that. It's so good. It just tastes like a fruity horchata. Jamaica is the hibiscus flower. They make a drink out of it. Hibiscus flower. Yes. Some people actually use it as for medicinal purposes. Medicinal. <laughs> so we're here at Taste of the Pacific. This man right here is the one that DM me, told me about the Friday Night Market in Paramount. What's up, bro? Who are you? Right. I'm Jeff, man. Taste of the Pacific. So what you got for us, man? I got you the combo plate, man. Got you the chicken skewer, the pork skewer, the beef strawberry, a little bit of lumpia, you know, coming at you, man. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's like, it's like I'm at the Filipino homie's house for a little family, family gathering. Yes. Yeah, you already yes. know what's up, man. If the animal was walking, they f killed it. I have never seen a Filipino vegan, I'll tell you that. All right. You can't go wrong with just some meat on a stick. I know. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's really good. Yeah. Don't forget <laughs> to eat it with the rice because it tames down the saltiness mm. from the meat. You got that chicken. You ready for that chicken? I guess, bro. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> kill us. <laughs> and then here, let me hit you with that short rib. Bro. You crazy. Hey, you know how Filipinos do, homie? You, know you crazy. Oh, man. You keep doing this, I'm going to end up like you, dog. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> he called him fat. No. He's crazy. Oh, my God. I'm so full, but that's so bomb. There's a little, like, vinegary kick to it. Mm. That sauce is fire, bro. Mm. Hey, that's fire, dog. Appreciate you, dog. Thank you, Appreciate dog. It. Hey, here, man, one more thing. Oh, my God, the lumpia. Man, let me tell you something about lumpia, son. It's a meat-filled egg roll. But egg roll got a lot of cabbage in it. Lupia don't got no cabbage. It's yeah, straight to the point. The veggies. I am so full, I'm gonna throw up right now. But in a good way. This is hot as a mother <laughs> son of a bitch. It's hot if you a bitch. Come on, Tim. Crispy, crunchy, meaty. The sweet, mm -hmm. tangy sauce. Oh, look, they don't skip on the oranges, man. They don't give you like three lumpias. They hook it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're here at Mom's Products. Have you guys never had flavored Greek yogurt? <laughs> delicious. Way better than cream cheese on anything. What do you guys want to start off with? The mango. The mango, okay. This right here, dude. Oh, flavored Greek yogurt. Wow. Put that's that on fruits. So good. That's really good. All right, check out the fig. Fig. Cheers. Wow. Like regular yogurt is a lot more liquidy. Greek yogurt has a lot less moisture, so it's super creamy. Guava. This is guava. For you? Cheers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys oh, have a card, right? You're gonna like take it home? Damn, David likes this. You guys wanna try some hummus? Nah. No? Too full. full. I won't be able to taste it. Yeah. If you guys eat a little bit. No! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Ah, we out 
out here. How you feeling, dog? Don't do that. <laughs> throw up. Today, I gotta say, Paramount, I have fallen in love with you. Shout out to the 562 Pirate for Life. That's the high school mascot. Ah, Pirate for Life. Pirates ah. for Life. Are you satisfied with your meal? <laughs> Not very satisfied with that joke, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so what was your favorite thing you ate today? Surprisingly, the Greek yogurt! Really? And also the Filipino barbecue. Dude, the Filipino barbecue was my, uh, mwah. Whatever he had on there, man, was like, oh, so just tangy and, and salty that, and mm. That guy was super nice, man. And don't be fooled by the way people look with his extra long shorts. So what'd you think about that earthquake, huh? Hey, man, look, we from California, you know what I'm saying? Earthquakes are just whatever to me. I feel like that's just God being like, I'm here. How y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's an earthquake, mother <laughs> Welcome to California, mother <laughs> ah, as always, thanks for watching another episode of Send Foods. Let us know in the comments below where should we go to next, what city, what food festival, and we might just turn up in your city. I'm Timothy De Ghetto, And I'm David So Paramount, homie. Thanks for watching, bitch. Yo, shout out to our fans that believe in comments like Griselle Almanza and Rebecca LaFortenew. Thank you. Love you.